Collins, Roy and Mike again. We're still at Shades. We're on Trail 5. We're getting toward the end, and it's really cool here toward the end. Uh, let me turn the camera around so you can see. Um, we're on this nice little ridge line between that ravine there, which you can see down here. If I can zoom in, I don't know if it'll zoom. Let's see. Uh, you can see the sign back here, Fritz Ravine. That's where Trail 4 is, so that's kind of where we were earlier. And then uh, there's this awesome ravine right on the other side of Trail 5. That kind of swings around back that way. Uh, just thought you should see this. Anyway, still having a good time? Just tired, sore? Nope, I'm good to go. Okay, so a few more trails to go, but uh, we're doing great. Roy and Mikey again. Still on Trail 5. We thought it ended when it reached Trail 4, but it didn't. Uh, remember when I showed that little ravine to the one side? Well, I did that video right about up there somewhere. And so now here we are in, as you can see, Kinch Ravine. Uh, still kind of cool. Describe the trail, Mikey. All watery. And there's a bunch of trees in the way, and a bunch of mud. Very, very rugged too. <laughs> well, there you have it. Um, so we're gonna finish this trail, see where it leads, and then uh, figure out what trail we're doing next. Anyway, uh, we'll get back to you later. One, it's Roy, and over there's Mikey. Um, we're just taking a little break here on Trail Five. We're kind of doing a nice little rock outcropping here. You can kind of see it all around us. Uh, and yes, indeed, yep, another ladder going up. Just a short one this time. One thing I wanted to point out: we've seen some graffiti along the trail. You know, mostly on the woodwork. You know about. Someone loves someone else, and the funny thing is, they're probably not even together. Well, we just saw the most awesome thing here in the rocks. Someone decided to be a moron and uh, put some graffiti on the rocks. Uh, right about there, as you can see, it says class, well, it said class of 2007. But thank you to whoever it was who erased that C and L and really made it known. Who those who the people who did that who they really were um uh so anyway if you're out here in the state parks or national parks or whatever parks don't graffiti you're just a moron if you do